and hello YouTube, this is JS Man, I'm smart, and I'm going to tell you a brand new video for tutorials of JS, and today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at Adobe Audition and, and looking at Pitch Bender. Now, Pitch Bender is a really neat feature in Audition that basically allows you to change pitch in a song, any piece of audio, and it makes it a really smooth transition. If, you, if you're used to using... If you're used to using something like Audacity, uh, you can tell that whenever you change the pitch, uh, it doesn't really smoothly transition. It's kind of hard to dynamically change pitch in Audacity. So Audition has a really cool way of doing it, and it's just it's it's just really kind of amazing how this works. So here I have a uh, track. Uh, hopefully, this won't get copyrighted because this is for uh, tutorial educational purposes. So let's hope, but. I have a track here, and um, I'll let you listen to a, a small portion of it. So, uh, Pitch Bender will allow you to create these cool turntable effects if you want to do something like that. It also allows you to uh, change pitch midway through the song to sing at a higher pitch or a lower pitch, and it does it very smoothly. So the way you get to Pitch Bender is going up to Effects, go to Time and Pitch, and select Pitch Bender. Now this is a process effect. And the neat thing about Audition is that it also gives you a preview window. So if you make a pitch change, we all know that if you make a higher pitch, you sing at a higher note, and the duration tends to decrease, the track's duration decreases. Uh, this is a neat little window here that we have. We have a preview window here, and we have a... Uh, our regular window here. Now this is a neat little window to use if you're making small edits as well. For example, you can change the uh, independent mode to mirrored mode and basically everything that you move at the top window here also moves at the bottom. You can change this to zoom in to selection. That way if you want to zoom in to here, you can zoom in at the bottom here. You don't need to zoom out and zoom in constantly uh, you know, to one specific track. And that makes it really cool. So if I want to zoom in here and work with work with the audio in this area, I can actually work with the audio here and not have to keep on zooming out and zooming in uh, with just one with one waveform of the track. Uh, the same works with if you want to, for example, work in independent mode. And let me just move this to the side real quick. So in independent mode, uh, we can actually you know, say we want to take out the beginning of this track here, for example, this uh, this space here where nothing's happening. We can actually do that, and we can erase. And then as you see, the adjustment gets made at the top here as well, and it basically fixes it at the bottom. And we can go to the back here and remove the end here, and the adjustment gets made at the top as well. So it's a neat little feature that you can use if you make lots of small edits like this and you want to see the before and after effect without having to zoom in and zoom out. You can always use the preview window here, which is pretty neat. Um, but Pitch Bender here allows you to use a preview window so you can see the time change if you use the Pitch Bender uh, at certain parts of the song so you can see the duration here as you can see our duration here has changed in the center of the screen here based off of our uh, custom pitch bend and I do have some presets here I will go over how to make your custom ones if you want to make a custom one and then save it as a preset you can for example down a whole step here we take a look what's happening here is we're basically going down a uh, we're basically going down a note now, here you'll see we have two semitones. We're going down two semitones, and one semitone is basically uh, half a note. So if you're going from C to C sharp, uh, that's one semitone. If you're going from C to D, that's two semitones. So, uh, right here, we're basically going down one note. And you can tell here uh, from basically from here, from this portion right here, it takes quite a bit to go down to here. So just going down one note takes that long is a, a bit too much. I also recommend turning off spinal curves here because that tends to gradually decrease. And uh, sometimes you may, you may want that, other times you may not want that. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn spinal curves off. 
And you can very easily make edits here with the moving the keyframes. And as you see now, it's a bit of a quicker change here. We're going down one note uh, in a shorter amount of time. So we take a listen to this. On the rocks to my mistakes. And you hear that very smooth transition. It's not like in other audio editors where it has this abrupt uh, change in pitch. It's actually really cool how this dynamically changes over time gradually. Uh, so that's one cool way of uh, changing your pitch. You can obviously, you know, create your own uh, little custom changes like so, and they'll also dynamically change. And if I were to go ahead and do something like that, as you see near the bottom, the track's length constantly changes, and you can tell by uh, looking at the time here how your duration has changed. So we take a listen to this now. It might, might sound a bit weird. On the rocks to my mistakes. I turned away from the light I knew would guide me. I don't deserve another chance to fall. I see the path of the heartache that's behind me. When I'm surrounded so some neat little cool things you can do with pitch bender uh, but as you can see if we increase the semitones here to say something like 16 we're actually going down more notes so you'll notice the difference here we play this again I just think it's really cool how this yo know, changes so smoothly and you can make some really cool neat effects in your music or your audio and like I said you can see you see how the the, the duration has doubled over doubled here we're now at seven minutes for the track and that's because you know for most of the song we are seeing at a lower tone which means a lower pitch means a longer duration so uh, all kinds of cool things you can do uh, let's go ahead and change this back to two semitones. We're going down. Actually, let me try some. Let's go eight semitones. And um, right when the chorus comes in, just some experimentation to see how well this works. So here's the chorus. Let's see. Let's see how awesome this sounds if we if we uh, make a keyframe right around here. And right around when the chorus starts, right around here, and we bring that to zero, and then uh, we'll go ahead and bring that to zero as well. And let's see how nicely this winds up to the proper note again. I need your help to use a bit more fine tuning it kind of goes a bit too fast but like I said you, a lot of this is up to your customization now they have there's plenty there's plenty of other effects here as well that you can play around with such as turntable losing power uh, so you can this is basically like kind of like a wind down effect uh, obviously you want to take spinal curves off because as you can see here gradually midway through the song it already starts losing power but uh, quite frankly that's a bit absurd you want to take spinal curves off and we still have some headroom here well this is still not at zero it still starts uh, to lose power a bit too quick so what we can do is grab this keyframe here and just move it up to zero and we can actually move this a bit more over here and we can zoom in to the end and we can create our own little curve here we wanted to something like that perhaps something like that uh, maybe we want it to be a little sooner because here's the end of the song already so maybe something like that let's add another keyframe here another keyframe here and We'll just grab that one and bring it all the way down like so. And now if we take a listen to this. 
And that just sounds so cool to me. That sounds really awesome. And you could do the same thing with the beginning. You could even, uh, you know, turntable, you know, gaining power. You could do something like that. So uh, if we go to the front here, how long did that take us? That went from about here. That went from 333 to around 334, one second. Um, and took about half a second to make, a, to make a real big difference. So we could do the same thing near the beginning here. Um, so, you know, half a second to make a huge difference and about one second where we get to the maximum point. So we can make a keyframe here and then we can make uh, a keyframe here and a keyframe here. We want to have this all the way to the bottom, obviously. And we want to have this here. I want to have that here. You know, just make a nice little curve, a nice curve that goes up. Perhaps something like this, and let's take a quick listen. So, I just really like this effect, and I thought I'd share it with you because it's it's really cool. You can do some creative things with it, especially if you're into um, mixing audio. Uh, this is, I think, this is a great way to mix audio together, and it's it's just one technique. I do know many uh, mixers do use this, you know, winding down, winding up technique, or changing pitch a lot. So. Uh, Audition has a great way to do that dynamically and gradually and with the preview window at the bottom here it makes it very easy to see you know how your track changes without having to move too much around you can still uh, you know move the uh, move the move the little uh, zoom marker here at the bottom around without having to change your work area here and you can see how the time changes so hopefully you found this uh, tutorial helpful and interesting at least uh, perhaps you can use this in a future edit if you have any questions or comments any feedback as well leave it in the comments section down below definitely down there answering any questions you have if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet go and subscribe to the channel lots of other software tutorials lots of other audio editing tutorials uh, on audacity audition premiere pro after effects gimp photoshop uh, lots of tutorials on the channel so i recommend you to check it out if you're interested in that type of stuff i also have a patreon page if you want to donate a dollar to my patreon page anything as low as that is very helpful and very much appreciated all you gotta do is click the card in the top right hand corner of the screen and it'll bring you to the page i also have a vlogging channel music channel advice channel and a gaming channel you want to check those out links in the description as well as on the end card that's pretty much it thank you for watching as always and this is gs man i'm smart and i'll be back soon you think don't go anywhere